What's going on guys, this is Senpai with PX Lab, and today we're going to show you how to set up the widgets. Alright, we actually have a whole section on this on the documentation that walks you step by step on how to set up the, uh, the widgets, but right now we're going to show you in this video. If you go to our demo site, you can see that right here we have a bunch of widgets on the home page on the sidebar. But when you actually install the demo, and if you want to know how to do that, make sure you watch that video, the link in the description below. You can actually see that it has different widgets set up. So we're gonna show you how to pretty much make it look like the uh, like our demos and just exactly what these widgets do. So what you wanna go is you wanna do uh, to the, go to the back end and go to appearance. Then you wanna go to widgets. Now from here you can see that these are the default widgets that WordPress sets up on the default section. But right now we're gonna go ahead and delete all this and start from scratch just so we can show you the process and that it's not all that scary. Deleting widgets, putting the uh, widgets back on is a very easy process. Okay, so right over here you can see that these are the boombox widgets that we provide. Now we're gonna go ahead and drag the create post one and it automatically opens for you. So you can add a title like this is a test and you can go ahead and change the subtitle description uh, the text for the button and you can even add a plus icon what you want to do next is you want to click on save so that everything's nice and safe for you another way to add a widget is like this for example let's say you click on the social widget you want to click on if you click on it it tells you where you want to add it so we're going to go ahead and go to default add widget and it's right over here now in terms of the social media now that's going to be uh you can exclude certain social media networks, click on save, but that's pretty much going to be right here on the boombox socials. And you can go ahead and uh, you can drag, for example, if I want the Twitter to be up second, you can go ahead and do that and add the link. Now, in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and do this just to give you an example of how it is on our demo. And uh, just it can be nice and quick. All right, let's go back to appearance. Let's go back to widgets. And as you can see, that is still there. Now, the next thing you uh, you could do, for example, is add a sticky bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and click on add widgets. And what a sticky bar is, is basically anything below this is going to be stuck there as you're scrolling down through the sidebar. You're gonna see in a moment just what I mean. And uh, just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and click on boombox trending posts. And uh, you can see there are multiple options. Now, if you wanna have more information as to what determines what is trending, hot and popular, read the documentation. It gives you all the information. And just for fun, we're gonna click on another create post and we're gonna bring it right below the, um, did you see the sticky bar? So it's gonna be below the sticky bar. Click on save. And now we're gonna go back to our home page and we're gonna click refresh. Now as you can see the widgets have changed. These, this is the create widget that connect with us. All right, we need to put some links first before it shows the social media networks. And as you can see, this is a sticky widget at work, which is basically this is stuck there as I'm scrolling down. So I definitely recommend you set up the widgets however you want. There are many, many options. And depending on what plugins you have installed, some plugins come with additional widgets as well. So it's very customizable, very easy to use and not scary at all. If you have any more questions, go ahead and read the documentation. It gives you all the answers. Uh, so we highly recommend you do that. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you guys watch the other tutorials on our YouTube channel and we will talk to you next time.